Hey everyone and welcome to a quick little demonstration of the new things I've added in the camera lock-on prototype. Uh, so, first thing we should do is go into the options menu and as you'll see there's no new changes in the settings here but I'll just quickly increase that just to make everything a little bit easier. The new settings are in here. I'll start with the allow camera to pan around. This isn't enabled by default, but I enabled it just before it started, just to uh, test everything was working fine. So the camera pan type is around center. Around player hasn't really been made functional yet, so we'll just keep it to around center. So what this does is it basically makes the camera stay sort of in the center of where the player and the enemy is, and it can pan around and while you're, lock while you're in this mode, the player will auto-aim at the enemy, so you don't have to aim at it yourself, else that would be kind of useless, having this mode. So uh, yeah, and when you're on this mode, the crosshair disappears, because you don't really need it. And then when you turn the lock, off off, t lock on off, it reappears. So uh, yeah, if we turn that off, there's three new settings down here. There's a default FOV. That can be changed just to change what the default field of view is. Most games have that, so it's not nothing really special. Uh, camera change FOV with range. That's uh, another one of the new settings. If we increase the uh, max real quick, you'll see basically just in increases and decreases the FOV of the camera as you get closer and further away from the enemy. And this can be used with or without the auto zoom camera. So if we turn that off, might not see a difference, might do. If we turn that one off, turn that one back on. Not really that much of a difference. So let's uh, put the FOV back to normal, because sometimes it doesn't return back to normal, which is weird, but oh well. I'm sure I'll get that fixed. Uh, so the last new setting is the default camera arm length. And this is just basically how far away the camera is by default. I uh, put another zero there by accident. But that's the default. That's twice as far away. And you can put it super close, which you'd never want to do. Because you can't see anything when you're trying to aim. Or we'll just put it back to 450. And uh, yeah, that's all the changes for today. Hopefully I'll have some uh, more for you next time. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. See ya.